Excellent Easter! Welcome back children to Excellent Easter. It's always so good to see you. Now I wonder what have we got inside our giant Easter egg today? Well we've had lots of different things haven't we? Well shall I take a peek and we'll find out. I'll tell you what I can see. Oh, well it's gold and I think it's something that you wear on your head. But not everybody can wear one. You have to be a particular person. Hmm, what am I holding up? That's right, I've got a crown, haven't I? Well, what sort of people wear a crown? Let's have a think. Well, maybe you imagine a king when you think about a crown. We know, don't we, that kings wear crowns. And queens wear crowns too, don't they? The crown shows how important they are. Now, I think I know why we have a crown in our Easter egg. It's because a few days before Easter, in the Bible, Jesus was celebrated as a king. Let me tell you the story. One day, Jesus was outside the city of Jerusalem with his disciples. He was preparing to enter the city in a very special way. Instead of walking like most people, Jesus was going to ride on a donkey. But before he could do this, he needed a donkey. There was one man who was very pleased to be able to give his donkey away. He smiled as he watched the two disciples lead the donkey away down the street. It was such a privilege to be able to give something to Jesus. Now, here's a special secret to do with donkeys. It was no accident that Jesus chose to ride one into Jerusalem. A long, long time ago, before Jesus was born, a man said that one day the King of Israel would ride into Jerusalem on a donkey. Soon, the whole city was gathering to watch Jesus. Some people wondered who he was. But others already knew. He is a prophet from Nazareth, they said. Many people cut branches off palm trees and waved them about, while others threw sheets and clothes on the road and others clapped their hands and shouted. But not everyone was happy about what Jesus was doing. Some of the priests and leaders started to grumble. That man is not a king, they complained. How dare these people shout praises to him? Hosanna, shouted the people. Hosanna to God in the highest. Long live the Messiah who comes in the name of the Lord. Hail to you, King of Israel. Jesus knew what these men were grumbling about. And he turned to them and said, even if the people did not shout out my name, the rocks on this path will. Jesus was saying that even the rocks and all of creation knew that he was king. And even though those men didn't like it, the children and the grown-ups carried on praising Jesus and calling him a king. So on that special day, just before Easter, Jesus was surrounded by all those people calling out his name and calling him a king. And we remember that story because we remember that Jesus is king and that he's king over the whole world and our lives. Now, here's one of my favourite Easter songs, all about how people were calling out Hosanna to Jesus and proclaiming him as king. It's called Hosanna Rock. Join in with me.
excellent Easter. So don't forget to come back and see the last thing that will be in our Easter egg. See you then. Bye. No, he loves me all the